Okay, my fellow detectives, we are back. I know it's been a minute, all right? Hey, put the guns down, bro. I had to finish these other shows so I can put this in the rotation, but we're back. I think I just missed the whole intro that he was explaining the plot, but I'm gonna get it. I'm smart like that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, episode eight of Detective Conan. I don't know what this case is. I think it's something about an art gallery, art museum. I don't know if somebody's gonna die, but we'll find out. Uh, another comment y'all said is that I should do the canon and skip the fillers. Y'all y'all was hating on the Valentine Valentine's Day love chocolate case, bro. I think that was kind of cool. But what I'm gonna do is I'll probably put a poll up and see if y'all just want the fillers and we could do just the fillers. It's whatever y'all want to do. So uh, without further ado, let's get it. The murder of the art museum owner or the art museum murder case. Okay, this is a murder case. Who, who wanna murder a, a art museum owner, bro? You'll never make a good watchman. Okay, why are you so scared? I was about to say, they really got security men for art museums, but I guess it is a lot of money in there. What is that? He put on the fit. Oh, that's scary. Did he kill the guards? Do y'all not have the blocka blocka? Two watchmen saw it. Oh no, they're still alive. Bro, put that tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> oh, he laughing too. Only kids would fall for that. Ain't you a kid? <laughs> Okay, okay, I remember too, last episode, Ron is starting to figure out that uh, Conan is actually Shinichi. I don't, it, it isn't fully figured out, but I don't know. Dang, she is too strong. Oh my God, I shouldn't have let her learn karate. That is not karate, bro, that is steroids. All right, we're going to the museum. Let's see what's going on. I gotta pay attention to everything, even these pictures. Oh my God, we didn't come here to look at art. He did it, he did it! Sykes, <laughs> let me chill. I love all the paintings here, okay? Almost as if they're my own children. Ochiai. Oh, he runs it. Oh, touching the art! Oh, kill him. Kill him. Wear gloves when handling the exhibits. You dumb dumb. Oh, slap him. You know how much I paid for this art? Look at why is he a hater for that rule? Don't, don't side eye me like that, bro. Are you gonna kill me for that? I paid millions for this art. You better get your spandex gloves on. But it's not spandex, it's um latex gloves on when you touching these these paintings. Ten days till this place shuts down. What is going on? Is he is he buying it? He's about to turn this into a shopping mall. He said he's gonna turn it into a hotel. That's crazy. Oh, that's the thing that they saw, the guard saw. Carelessly handling Kubota. You about to be fired, bruh. Dang, no wonder. Get him out of here. He don't care nothing about the art. Why didn't he get angry again? Because he's about to kill him. That's the last time you're going to see Kubota. He took him to the back. No entry. Huh, somebody just put that sign there. Maybe that room was open. I don't know. No entrance sign is gone. <laughs> what kind of evil laugh? Oh, what is this one? Hell gallery? Why why does this exist? Do they have lights? Oh god. Is that the camera? It is dark. Divine punishment. A knight of justice sealing away a demon. Oh. Drip drip. Oh god dang! Mr. Manaka, the owner. Good goodness! Oh, whoever did that, they hated his guts. Bro died like this. Like, bro, that had to have been painful. How did nobody hear him? A sword impaled through the wall. And he's hanging. He's like up. So the bull had to be tall, too. Like, he grabbed him up. Like, you severed it through the wall. Too. Like, you had to be strong to do that, too. And the angle was kind of upward, so he was definitely taller. Like, I'm putting it together right now. We need to find, like... I don't know. I don't know. None of y'all about to solve this, bro. Security camera. Okay. We got something. Okay. The owner. That thing's gonna move. It's the suit. He's in the suit already. Yup. It's insane. Wow. This is crazy. We're actually seeing the murder happen. This is crazy. No way. Oh my God. That's brutal. Oh my god! I've seen this somewhere before. 
He did it exactly as the picture. That's crazy. Divine punishment. To look like the painting is insane. Wait a minute. Was it the guy, the old guy, the manager here? He loves paintings. And I feel like he would do it in that way out of respect of the painting. But it can't be. It can't be, bro. Like, bro, if I'm just trying to kill somebody and get away with it, I'm not going to take the time to ma make it match a picture, bro. I don't think the old man is built like that, but you can't underestimate anybody in this show, bro. There was a no entry sign. In the time of the death, the murder happening, it, he could have he could have died before. Oh, no, wait, there was a time period on the camera. It was 4 something p.m. I was about to say he could have already been dead while we were walking around because the guy was mishandling the, the, the stuff. He had the bodysuit like covered in tarp and he was wheeling it around. Probably it could have already happened, but I think it I think it happened later. That was around four. We passed by after five, the sign was gone. So far it seems like a simple case. We just don't know who. The killer is one of you. The owner's doing something. Before the killer jumped out. He wrote on the paper. Oh, oh, he wrote something. He's holding it. It can't, it can't be. He doesn't know who he is. Kubota. What's my name doing on there? <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Because Kubota, if whoever's killing him was in the suit, bro. He can't. Dang, that's crazy having time to write down on paper, like, a name. But it, it, he, he doesn't know who it was. He just freestyling and writing a name that he hates. I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't me. Where were you at 430? Okay. Alone in the office. Ah, oh, that don't work. I did ask him to do some work. Nobody saw you, doesn't it? Yeah, alibi like that doesn't work. You need other people to account for you. You are secretly selling the museum's exhibits? Huh? That had nothing to do with this. Oh, you are scum. Look at Conan being an actual detective. There's a pin here. Excellent work. Okay. Art Museum's 50th anniversary. Everyone who works here has a pin. What did you see, bruh? Both colors and whiffs are exactly the same. That's strange. Should have known about the security camera. Why did he choose this room to make it look like that painting? Yeah, he doesn't have interest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, they would have to have interest in art to be killing like this. To to match the picture is crazy. And that 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 directly correlated to me, the old man who says all these paintings are my baby. It, it, only someone like that would want to match the painting. But I don't, I don't know if the old man can get in a suit and do all that, bro. Yo, Conan getting bold with his, like, detective stuff now. Okay. And y'all just gonna leave the kid in here, bro. That's crazy. Okay, what are we looking at? It's with that expression. He read the card, threw the pen away when he finished writing. When I found the pen, it was closed. The tip was retracted. It's unnatural to retract the tip and twist. Okay. Okay, that means... Did he solve it? Just from that? Wait, wait, is everything needed? He was shocked by what he saw on the paper before he wrote, grabbed the pen, opened it, wrote the name and tossed it. The pen should have still been pointed wherever it landed at, but it wasn't. Somebody grabbed it and twisted it back? But what would, what would be the point of that? I can't, I can't get this one. I can't get this one. Ah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There's a mark on the paper. Armor in Kabuto's room, locker room. Is this a setup? Oh, shoot. That isn't a dying message at all. It's a trick the killer used to put the blame on Kabuto. Kubota. Oh, okay. So this guy grabbed the paper. He did write something, tossed it. The killer then knew that's what would happen, rewrote Kubo Kabuta instead in, on that same paper because he knew it was on camera so that it would look like he wrote Kubota, but it, it wasn't what he actually wrote. And then replaced the pen, but twisted it closed this time. That's where you messed up. You twisted it closed this time. So that gave him enough assumption to know that somebody else picked that pin up. It was a replica. Oh, the man. That's why the manager didn't say anything. He knew it was a replica. It is the manager. It's all a setup. Everything lines up perfectly with him telling his little guy to go work in that other room by himself. 
so that the, the armor is in the same room as him while he can go commit the kill that matches the painting that's crazy and set it all up on him okay okay it's it's simple this this is i got it i got it I had cards but no paintings the killer removed them in advance to protect them from blood that's crazy that's a crazy love of paints he knew in advance where he would kill him at remove the painting so there wouldn't be any blood splatter on it before he does a murder to match another painting before setting up his his employee you're crazy old man get him out of here you know what made this case so easy is that they only gave us three different people to suspect so of course you're only going to suspect the old man if if they would have gave us like two more people to suspect then it would have been a little bit harder but it's it's the old man which means the one behind it the museum manager my conclusions are correct murderer might still have it okay get him out of here conan i have to go oh god where's the bathroom down the stairs on your right draw it on this is he gonna actually do it oh oh oh, oh. got him switch up is crazy Switch up is crazy. What's the matter? Oh, you knew before writing that the pin doesn't work. <laughs> Why did you have a pin that you knew didn't work? Yo, Conan kind of fire right now. Ball pin that doesn't work. Then this dying message should be blank. Strange mark left behind. Someone scribbled over the letters with a pin that didn't work. Wow, the pins don't work. Oh, shoot. So you can still see the imprint he tried to write. But then he actually went and got a pen that actually works to write out Kubota. Who is this boy? <laughs> this is fire! He take the card in the first place. Killer told the owner the following. Look at the card behind you. The name of the murderer is on it. Cross out the name and replace it with the real one. But he couldn't. Wow! That's so crazy. Okay, because we couldn't hear the audio of the thing. That's why it didn't make sense to me as to why he turned and just started writing, bro. It just like, but it was because the guy in the suit was talking to him. He said, yo, look to the paper behind you. That's the name of the killer. And he's like, that's not, I gotta correct this. And he started trying to write it, but it didn't work. And it looks like he wrote, but he actually didn't write. That's crazy. That's a crazy death. The videotape without sound. It's a good plan, old man. But the pin we found does work. Wasn't that tip retracted when we found it? Someone who's about to be killed. Go through all that trouble. I'm glad he got enough common sense to put that together. He switched pins. Carelessly forgot to put the tip out. Of course. Ooh. In other words, it was you, old man. That is crazy. The work, the work he did in that suit. This man's strong in a suit bro you impaled him to a wall this is crazy i was waiting to meet someone at 4 30. yeah him waiting for that black-hearted demon oh he about to go off well inside that suit of armor good thing everything was caught on tape that's wild the location of the card the pin i practice here on several occasions dang getting rid of mr manaka he's gonna shut down the museum he think he a hero all right take him to the cop car went and sold some of my exhibits i wanted to punish you as well dang get him out of here exactly like the painting he has also been covered in its evil blood which will soak him in and make him wicked in turn dang we get it you like art i too have become a demon i like how they let him get every killer get off on a speech do you not need to go to the restroom no more he about to kill you conan and he know that conan is a genius dang got him out of here bro he kind of crazy after we discovered his plan he he turned kind of crazy he said yeah i did it and i was gonna kill him too and probably you little boy all right y'all let's get to the next one Okay, ladies and gentlemen, episode 9 of Detective Conan. All right, festival fiasco. Tenkaichi Night Festival on three separate mountains. Lighting the letters is about to begin. Okay, they light up the letters on three separate mountains. Promise. Oh, what the get up? I'm about to kill tonight. What happened in here? Oh, person we be honoring tonight. 
Ding, bro, got shot. Is dead. That was hard. Ding, bro. And you gonna take his money? Nothing personal. That it, it sounds really personal, bro. Sounds like there was a gunshot. <laughs> what is going on this is the most easiest case bro he did everything public and then drop the gun in water and then immediately take off your disguise in public like did you run immediately here like why is there no one else still following him did y'all did y'all really let him get away with shooting point blank in an apartment run to the river to toss that and take off his disguise like he's like he's just cool now bro this would not work as if there's not street cameras this is the easiest case solved bro as if there's not street cameras everywhere we would literally just hop on street cameras the next day watch you run in your little scarf hat get up to the river and then the next camera we see is you without it on we found you you're not cool okay they in the robes in hopes of a good harvest oh this is the guy that just got done killing his long chin bro dang his, he looked like a water balloon bro he looked like a bro his chin strong I'm trying to get a picture you can have this I used to write novels under the pen name tomokazu mataki and our old friends we both came here today thought we drink the night away look at him sweating sure is hot <laughs> take off your jacket take a couple more shots for me this is crazy bro okay after killing he went here to take pictures i think what he needs is an alibi he's trying to show that he's been he's been chilling at the festival all day come to find out you're you handed your camera to detective conan's girl bro and you over here trying to get your alibi from us this is bad luck uh oh i'm detective yokomizu from the police oh he's been murdered in the hotel room you were both staying in it's a pistol a young man he fled the room shot clean through the head that's crazy look at him shook difficult cases you solve all the time yeah sure <laughs> i was the one that solved them check his wallet empty he got robbed what is that? Toothpaste. <laughs> Yo, let me solve this, bro! Killed while brushing his teeth. A robbery. Only the money was removed. Someone had knocked on the door, shot him in the instant he opened it. Okay. This is an interesting take on the play because it's, uh... We know what happened beforehand. We just need to see how they're breaking it down this time. The real killer was the room other occupant. This big chinhead dude can't be serious i have an alibi i was at the festival bro sprinted to the festival the last half of the festival we met my alibi is real all his little photos get out of here bro that's crazy that's crazy you killed your homie he was over there destroying the room in front of his homie before he killed him to make an alibi popped him everyone in the room in the hotel room looking at that's a bold move to pop a gunshot in a hotel room actually be able to run down all the floors and get to the water without anybody following you to then drop the weapon take off your disguise and then keep sprinting to the festival bro to immediately hand someone a camera to take pictures with you that is a crazy plan an insane plan bro <laughs> There's too many mistakes in here, bro. This is not gonna be a difficult case. It's almost certainly him. But what's with that big smile? What sort of alibi does he have in that camera? Seven pictures in all. I took this one. Okay. It's past 840 when Ichi is lit. Murder took place at 802. How long does it continue to burn? 825 or so. He was at the festival before 825 at the latest. He managed to get a picture of the one of the letters that was still burning. It's possible. How did he get that photo? Your alibi is airtight. Shut up. How can that picture be there? I handed the camera directly over to you. It was a disposable camera. Yeah, you can't edit the photos. He was really there. Or was it the TV? No. Huh. Bro, do you need a cut? I got the clippers downstairs. Constantly asking the time. Time for the 10 character. Forgot my watch today. You are trying to make an alibi. Look at the adults calling him out. Ooh. Conan don't even got to do the work. Finding out who killed my friend. And why is he smiling? 
this is crazy because bro really think he's cool with his little plan his plan is actually very trash the the little letter thing is an alibi because it burns it stops burning at 825 so he, if, the fact that he has a picture with it means that he was there before 825 they're saying you can't get there in that short amount of time it's taken down to the station this deadline was coming up soon what the choice here what he got a something i wrote a while back kept bugging me to show it to him i just happened to bring it with me today you're gonna do this right in front of everyone bro dude it is so clear you killed this dude to get your writing handed to him instead of uh the other guy and you're gonna do this now you didn't have the patience to just wait till this crime scene was over this is a clear sign of a motive bro oh my god they are they are stupid it's only the prologue we would be very grateful if you would continue to write i shall write for late imataki's sake was that a clue i must hurry back home and get to work there's no question he's the killer he has an alibi how could he take that picture i don't i don't i really don't know how bro camera was untampered something has to be something does he did he hand them a different maybe he had two cameras in the tuck swapped it out no but they also developed the ones that he took with conan i don't i don't know yeah even if he had a second camera he would still need like um the photo of the thing taken so he would still need to be there early enough unless this is a photo from a year ago made sure to look exactly the same and he pre-planned this death an entire year later to make sure he had a photo in front of the letter <laughs> that would be insane bro a whole year to get a photo just to make sure that nah that can't be it i don't know how he did this though think when you met him he really about to get out of here he was hot didn't take his jacket off maybe he couldn't because he needed he couldn't take it off because he needed to the the outfit to match he he this is an old picture the picture is an old picture there is no way the 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 alibi i just said is real did he have this picture in the tuck for an entire year hold on let let conan cook conan show me show me what you see bro that's it i've got his trick figured out he is the killer this was premeditated murder <laughs> oh shit conan cook conan get him out of here i don't fully know yet secret weapon we gotta knock him out again i'm sorry bro i'm sorry bro we gotta do this to him every time bro he's gonna get some type of side effects bro this is crazy <laughs> oh god nobody sees conan doing this y'all are crazy all right let's let's do it voice altering bow tie <laughs> oh my god move the balloon <laughs> you tell him how incompetent he is conan get this man out of here get him out of here okay quiet so you could have all the credit if you are still fooled by the trick Ooh, ooh. none other than the one standing next to you <laughs> the victim was brushing his teeth before he was shot no that means he was comfortable around whoever shot him not very common for people to open a front door for strangers while still brushing their teeth now is it i mean this is a good point but it's also possible like if i'm in a hotel brushing my teeth and i think it's room service or something i'm gonna open my i don't care if you see me brushing my teeth and then i could have just got popped right there bro but i mean it's a stretch it's a stretch but honestly i probably would spit put my toothbrush down real quick and then see what's up nah honestly knowing me i'll probably still be brushing oh okay more blankets more pillows and towels thank you thank you thank you room's condition the murderer fled immediately after the gunshot mm. you think it's possible to ransack this entire room in a short amount of time facts good good point that's a solid point okay he fled immediately after the gunshot how is this room ransacked he would need to ransack before shooting you dummy yeah got him out of here seems to point to me i have an alibi look at that picture i'm standing in front of the letter at 8:25. this is most likely a picture that you took when you came to a previous festival you held on to the camera until today's festival 
to continue taking more pictures. Oh my God. I thought it was that, but I didn't think it was actually that. That is crazy, bro. To follow through for a yearly annual festival. You planned this over a year ago and still follow through with it. Bro was getting excited for this festival to come up. He had the picture sitting on this camera just for the plan to commence and to take more pictures, bro. Because he knew exactly, he knew to the T what time he would kill the dude just to run to the festival. Oh God, bro, this is crazy. So he needed the specific time alibi of the letter lighting, knowing they would do it again at that specific time next year so that he could kill the dude at the time that that specific letter is getting lit so that he already has a picture of him existing in front of that letter so he's covered. Now he needs to go to the festival to get the other majority pictures at the festival. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy, bro. The fact that you were wearing the same clothes made it easy to mistake. Okay, the reason you kept your jacket on, you didn't want to look any different than the first photo. That's crazy to look exactly the same. That's why I wasn't going to call it that, like that he did it a year ago. Because I'm like, facial things could change in a year. But I guess you would look about the same. Yeah, I guess you could pull this off. I could take a picture now and be looking kind of the same a year later. I don't think I would look too close the same. Like, I'll be slightly different each year. You have proof? Yes, I do. Okay, show him. Show him. Oh, the balloon. It's right there. Hey, you. Don't be bothering dad. Oh, my God. Conan's getting exposed. I leave the rest to you, Detective Yoku Mizu. <laughs> That's crazy. His wrist, his wrist. Did he have the watch on? I forgot my watch today. Ooh, he has the watch on in the picture. Or does the tan line, in, the tan line. How do you explain this? Your wrist is perfectly tanning your alibi photo. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Look, he got that tan, I got that tan line too, y'all. I be wearing a watch all day. I got that white stripe. I can see defeat, detective. I decided to get rid of him a year ago. Wanted to take his place. Oh, God. This is so ridiculous. Dang. Haters, bro. Haters everywhere, bro. You don't know who around you is actually a hater. This is crazy. Wanting to kill you for an entire year. Scheming. So you killed him. I did. I did. Go ahead and take me away right on the tan line we both thought up the story for it though i suppose nobody would believe me now yeah go to prison we don't care hey they conan you getting a lot more sloppy with solving these cases bro you should have got rid of that balloon Rand is gonna figure him out within the next five episodes y'all i already know he's he's getting a lot more um bold with solving these cases okay okay but that was two more cases solved, bro. We are back out here with Conan. Um, thank you for your patience again, bruh. But I should be seeing y'all next week with two more cases. But um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.